Hey there, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. My name is Raven, and today we are going to be going over some pole dance questions that I get asked a lot, mostly like through Facebook groups whenever I post about doing pole fitness at home or on Instagram stories. I don't have a large following on any platform, so I am mostly just answering questions that I get from personal friends to sort of help spread more information around. And I originally wanted this video to be like a pole progress check-in because I had started pole dancing about a month or two ago. I am so blanking on dates at the moment. But I actually haven't been able to work out almost at all for the last two weeks because of some health stuff. I've basically been trying to balance out some medication and it's left me too tired to pole dance at night or really do any physical activity. So I, this was my first pole dance session in about two weeks and I didn't feel like that was a fair representation of how much progress I had made. This day was also super humid and gross and uncomfortable. So I was having trouble gripping the pole and breathing properly. So we are, we've already gone through the warm up, and basically I just filmed the whole pole session and cut out any dead space because I tend to get dizzy really quick. Well, I did today at least. I got dizzy really quick and had to like go off camera and just get a drink and chill out. So I'm going to jump into the questions that I wrote down. These are questions that I've been asked through social media, but not really by my followers or anything like that but I hope that they are helpful if you are considering getting into pole dancing. I do have a background in pole dancing. I used to, I, I pole danced for about four or five years and then didn't have access to a studio until this year when I got a pole at home. So I do have some knowledge on this, but I'm not an instructor or anything like that. The first question that I tend to get almost every single time someone finds out that I do pole dancing is, do I need to lose weight before I start? In my opinion, no. However, that is up to your doctor if whether or not your joints can take the activity and the impact of this kind of thing. Um, as far as losing weight, I think pole dancing is actually a great way to lose weight if that is your goal. It's also a really great way to build strength in your upper body and core, and it does sort of give you incentive and motivation to work on flexibility. So I don't tell people they need to lose pole or lose weight to do pole. I think it's a great way to celebrate the body that you currently have and really like get to know how you can move and feel connected to your body. It's one of the reasons I really love pole dancing in the first place. So it is entirely up to your doctor and whether or not you feel able to do it, but I would say make sure that the pole at whatever studio or place you're going to learn can safely hold your weight, especially if you're using a cheaper pole, because I just, I don't trust them personally, but that's, that's an entire conversation on its own. Another question that I get a lot is, is it hard? Yes. It, there are beginner fr friendly classes and beginner friendly moves, and it is definitely something that you can build up on, but it is, for me, I, I did, wasn't really active as a kid or anything like that. It was kind of hard to get into because it requires a lot of coordination and a lot of strength, but it's also building your coordination and strength. So I think, you know, it's, it depends on your background and how coordinated you are, but it can be hard. Another question that I get a lot is, does it hurt? Um, yes, it does. You're, you're using a metal item to hold all of your body weight and sometimes you kind of like smack your leg or you can you you get bruised pretty frequently with pole dancing i used to be pretty unhealthy and i was very nutritionally devoid if you will and so i bruised all the time when i did this as a younger person i when i was like 18. however now i don't bruise as much and i think that's because i eat. I eat food as, as you should. And so 
I don't get bruised or like sensitive the way I used to, but I do still get pole burn. And pole burn is basically the friction of using, the, of gripping the pole. If you grip too hard, you can just irritate your skin and sometimes even like <laughs> pull off skin, which sounds gross, but it, and it does feel gross at the time, but it doesn't really hurt the day after or anything like that. It's sort of just like when you were a kid and you were on the monkey bars. The question that I get from people that are trying to get a pole at home is what kind of pole do I use? I really like the brand X-Pole, but that is a personal preference. So I have an X-Pole Pro 45 millimeter in chrome. They, I actually wanted to get the stainless steel, but it was not an option when I was ordering and I was just too much of in a rush and afraid that they weren't going to be able to restock because of pan the pandemic. So I went ahead and got chrome. The last question I have is, does the pole spin? My pole has the option to spin, but not every pole is going to have that. And I would not recommend a spinning pole for a beginner. I can't believe I actually got through all of those questions. Thank you so much for, if you decided to watch. Please hit subscribe if you like this style of content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.